want to see how well I know you. So I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of assumptions of you and you just let me know in the comments if I'm right, okay? You ready? Here's assumption number one. You have a Pinterest folder saved with way more sewing project ideas and inspo photos than you could ever even make in one lifetime. Assumption number two, you feel guilty about your growing fabric and pattern stash because you have no idea when you'll ever actually get around to using them. In fact, at this point, sewing isn't even your hobby, okay? Collecting fabric is your hobby. Assumption number three, you are so busy that even if you do find the time to do it, you're too busy feeling guilty about all the other responsibilities you're blowing off in order to be there that you can't even fully enjoy your practice. So how did I do? Does that sound like you? Listen, before you start thinking that I'm psychic, the reason that I know this about you is A, you clicked on the title of this video, so. And two, I know this because I've totally been there too. I'm literally here right now. If you've ever rolled your eyes at an Instagram post all about someone's sewing weekend or felt FOMO when you see other makers churning out project after project and think to yourself, how is this kind of output even possible? It takes me the same amount of time to sew one dang buttonhole. Then this video is for you. By the way, if you're curious, I'm getting a lot of my ideas from this book right here, Atomic Habits by James Cleary. Is anybody else late to the game reading this? Because I have just started reading it for the first time and it's kind of blowing my mind. So definitely worth checking out if you're interested. So if you've never visited my channel before, welcome. I'm Kaylee. I am a professional stylist turned home sewist and now I teach incredibly cool people how to build a wardrobe that is handmade, creative, sustainable, and empowered. So if you haven't already, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button and ding the notification bell because I share videos about how to create a me-made wardrobe every single week. And right now, I'm gonna need a coffee. Like most people, I love starting my day off with a coffee. I don't do anything fancy, but it's always the first thing I do to kick off my daily routine. And that's what I'd like you to focus on first when it comes to developing a sewing habit. Create a list of your daily routine, i.e. your daily habits, to get clear on where your sewing fits in. Now, I just want to be clear here. The goal of this exercise isn't to start judging yourself or beating yourself up when you take time to scroll Instagram or whatever it is. It's just to get a better idea of what your day-to-day -day looks like so you can better figure out where sewing fits in realistically. So now that I know where the sewing fits into my schedule, it's important for me to let everybody else know in my little bubble where the sewing is gonna fit in. And that is tip number two. Schedule it on your calendar. Because here's the thing, when you put your sewing practice on the schedule and it's taking up space on the calendar, not only lets you know, but everybody else that you share your time with know that your sewing practice is important. It's not just a cute little hobby that could be dropped or put on the back burner in order to make room for other demands. Just wanted to pop in really quick and say that if you're getting value out of this video, let me know by giving it a like or leaving a comment, subscribing to my channel. I wanna make videos that you guys enjoy watching, so this really helps me to figure out what you guys wanna see. That said, let's get back to it. Yeah, except I'm looking at my schedule right now and there's literally nowhere to fit it in. Then my suggestion to you is try habit stacking and or intention implementation. Habit stacking is essentially when you take the habit that you want to form and you put it with a habit that's already been formed. That's where your daily routine list is gonna come in handy. Meanwhile, implementation intention is when you simply name the time and the place for the habit to occur. Whatever that looks like for you, the most important thing to keep top of mind is tip number four. Keep your goals realistic and gettable. Look, the fact of the matter is, a lot of us kind of tend to believe that if we don't have like hours on end or a whole weekend to sew a whole project from start to finish, then what's even the point, right? But let me ask you this. When was the last time you had hours of uninterrupted time or a whole weekend to sew something from start to finish. Oh, that's easy. I just had a sewing day last, wait, what year is it again? Exactly. So the most effective way to turn your sporadic sewing hobby into an established habit is to simply practice the art of showing up every single day without fail. Honestly, it doesn't matter if you're spending an hour or even just two minutes to sew one seam. The point is to think of it like every time you show up, you're adding a link to your chain and the goal is to just not break the chain. And one of the easiest ways to ensure that you're gonna show up every single day is to set your environment up for sewing success. 
Now, if you have a dedicated sewing space, carving out time for prep work like threading your machine or cutting out your fabric can save you a lot of sewing time later. The fewer barriers you have preventing you from starting your sewing practice, the more likely you'll be to actually do it. Okay, that's really nice for you, but I don't have a sewing room. This is my sewing space. So if your sewing area looks more like a sewing corner of the bedroom or sewing seat at the kitchen table, fear not, there's still a couple of things that you can do to set yourself up for success. One idea is to set up a sewing project basket. This can be filled with your pre-cut fabric, pattern instructions, and all the little bits and bobs that you'll need. That way you'll have all of your essentials handy and put together for when it's time to pull out your sewing machine. And for the actual sewing machine, another idea is to utilize something like a rolling cart. So that you can tuck away in a closet or off in a corner somewhere where it's not so invasive and then just roll it out when you're ready to sew and roll it back when it's time to be done. So now that you've worked your sewing time into your schedule by stacking it with another habit, putting it on your calendar, and set up your environment for success, know that taking any amount of time for yourself, whether that be an entire sewing weekend or just two minutes to sew a single seam, isn't just about building your sewing practice. It's a form of self-care. Spending time with a creative hobby that you love and that fills your cup, no matter what amount of time that is, is time well spent and it deserves to be celebrated. Personally, I love a sticker chart, so I made this project progress sticker chart for myself to use, but I figured maybe some of you might enjoy it as well, so it is available as a free download that you can get. It is also linked in the description box. You can make it as detailed or as simple as you like, but at the end of each sewing session, you just reward yourself with a cute little sticker. If this has got you itching to start on your next project, but you have no idea what that next project is going to be, then I recommend you watch this video next. It is a DIY shirt top, and it's something that you could probably whip up in an afternoon. I'll catch you guys over there, and in the meantime, feel free to share any tips and tricks that you have about how to fit sewing into your business schedule with the class below. We would love to learn from you and learn from each other. Until next time, happy making. I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye!